close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Try to keep on top of what's happening right here in the present moment, because that's where all your choices are being made. If you're not right here, you're off someplace else, and it's like owning a factory and then just leaving the factory and letting the workers do what they want. And you have no guarantee of the quality of what's coming out of the factory. But if you're on top of things, checking the workers here, checking the workers there, and making sure that you can do the work too, you're on top of things. And then you can be a little more confident that what you do or say or think is actually going to have good results. And that way your actions, instead of just expressing your emotions, actually become a gift. A gift to yourself in the sense that they create a better world for you to live in, and a gift to other people as you're creating a better world for them. So all the good things come from here. All the bad things come from here as well. So you have to be on top of things. That's what the Buddha was talking about, being in the present moment. It wasn't just to be alert or aware all around of whatever, whatever comes up. He was specifically focused on what you're doing. When he gave his explanation for why it's good to be in the present moment, it wasn't because the present moment was a wonderful moment or that we can learn how to squeeze all the pleasure we can out of the present. It was because we're going to die and we don't know when. And there's work to be done. And so when you do the work, you've got to do it now because you can't put it off. Because when death comes, the mind is going to grasp at everything, anything that comes by, if it hasn't been trained. If it has been trained, it's going to be more focused. It knows what should be let go of, what should be held on to. You want to hold on to your sense of still awareness in the present moment, regardless of whatever else comes up. And that way you're safe. But that requires a lot of training, so we do it now. This is the only time we have to do it, which is right now. And right now, and right now, as long as the nows keep coming, you try to make the most of them. To figure out what in the mind needs to be straightened out, what in the mind needs to be encouraged. And do whatever work needs to be done. This is the time to do it. So try to make sure that you do it well. <laughs>